Hello everyone. So today I am going to work on this uh, skill tree. But here we are going to add multiple skill trees instead of just one for different categories. Here you can see like survival, combat, stealth, three different categories for the skills. Uh, and we have already worked on how to create one of the skill trees and now we are going to modify that to support multiple different skill trees on the same UI. And in this episode we will just work on the visual part of different skill trees for different categories but in upcoming episodes we will work on the actual data tables that contains skills for each different category and how to actually apply them to the character right now it only applies for the first skill tree actually it, we can apply uh, skills in the other, other trees as well but we are just reusing the same data table so yeah anyway uh, let's look into that and before we get started here is the full playlist where you can watch all the episodes that I have worked on up to this level where everything is explained from scratch you can follow these episodes and implement everything you see here by yourself and also the full project files are available for download in my patreon page uh, once you become a member not just this project you can get access to all thousands of different projects that i have done in my channel so feel free to check it out i'll leave links to everything in description below okay now let's get into today's episode right so this is the current state of the skill tree so here i have only one skill tree so what i want is having multiple skill trees like for different categories survival skills combat skills stealth skills whatever so this like that okay so for that the first thing is here uh, this is the skill tree widget so let me just keep that here if you remember this the, uh, all these things are dynamically created here you can see this dt skills data table this contains all the details about the uh, skills here i have for example health updates scamming stamina updates that's all this table contains so what i want to have is like a different table for combat skills and another table for let's say um, stealth skills so we need to have multiple uh, tables so to support that my plan is here change is the change in this initialize tree here right now i am using this vertical box uh this is where all these buttons are added so instead of instead of just having one vertical box let me wrap this let me wrap this with the uh, horizontal box okay now i'll uh, expand this horizontal box this and put it to the corners uh, well it crashed when i tried to do that so let me put this back again and set this I see it uh, says a vertical box. Let me remove this and add again for central box. Okay, now it's good. And here, let me press again to this. Okay, now it's not crashing. Great. Now from the top, let's see. 200 okay right save everything now put back the skill tree under this and i'll make it fill so it, it takes the whole entire area 
So I'll name this uh, VB skill tree one to get wait now we have three skill trees I'm just gonna um, be safe make sure that things are still working mm -hmm. it does so this dragon is not working but I know why it's not that's because yeah yeah we are using this baby skill tree slot as canvas slot we will fix it this once we have three skill trees okay now i do have three skill trees uh actually just vertical boxes not a skill tree itself now let's go here and this is what we are using initialize tree this is the function that is responsible for creating the tree structure so here let me do some modifications so i pass this but this is actually a global level variable so let me disconnect this part and rename this in gt scales now we got errors in dt let's fix this first All right. All right. So there. Okay. All right. Okay. And also, we need to pass the vertical box also that we want to use to add the tree elements because we are here using this VB skill tree. Let me find references within this function. And here, instead of this, I'll add this as a parameter. I'll call it in vertical box. So instead of this one, let's use in vertical box. So instead of this target, I'll use it because I don't want to have this long line. We are the same as in here. This one in the vertical box. Okay, that's the only two places. All right, now we have successfully detached the vertical box and the data table from this function so it uh, now only uses the past parameters now for the first time i need to pass this anyway so let's see now if it works okay see it is working it's in this uh this corner now just to see if we can have multiple tables let me duplicate this three times here i will be using the same data table but we do need to create different data tables for different skill categories okay compile that's it. Okay, see, now we have three skill trees. All right.
so next step is actually yeah let's fix the panning that should be simple here instead of this now oh uh, wait before doing panning i think it would be better if i have a title here for each little tree so to add a title but maybe let's wrap this with another vertical box and then on top i'll add an additional horizontal box so the horizontal it should go on should be within this and on top okay and under this i'll add some text so we need three text for three skill trees they should align with these three so let's make it fill and justification to center now we now they are aligned with the trees so let's call this survival Okay, that's good enough for now. And to fix panning, now instead of this, I will have to use this uh, vertical box. So I call it VB main. Oh. Changing. Let me change this to variable first. VB main. Disrupt the underscore. VB main. Okay. right okay yeah see now we can pan for some reason it stretches why is that happening i'm not sure but we can pan around when i do this horizontally it kind of stretches all right right know why because we are using this anchor so instead of that i should have used this anchor now it should work correctly okay good yeah see now it looks all good i can pan around the reason that I implemented panning is because I can go down if I have a longer skill tree. But for now I don't, so it looks fine. But we have already worked on this, so in case you need it, you can use it. Alright, right. now this is just the UI part. And in a future episode, let's work on how to make this work. How to actually have different data tables that have different kinds of skills and how to uh, connect this with the save and load system everything work properly okay so thanks for watching as always updated project files will be available for download in the patreon page link would be in the description below and let me know if you have any questions in the comments see you in the next episode goodbye